What's going on, Jet fans? Five games into the season, we're going to do some early grades on the Jets' uh, free agency and trade. Uh, basically, the offseason acquisitions, the veteran ones, obviously can't dra uh, grade a draft class uh, yet, but the early returns on Braylon Allen look pretty good, right? I think we can agree there. Uh, Tyron Smith, C, left tackle, uh, a grade of C for me. The question mark, at least in my opinion, when Smith was signed was, how many games is he going to be available? I felt pretty confident that he was going to give the Jets high-level left tackle play, and that has not been the case. Ironically, he's played every game, but he's been like a mid to below average left tackle. Uh, and with the Jets' offensive line, obviously you have to do everything through a Keith Carter, Nate Hackett, Todd Downing lens. I understand that, um, particularly when you look at the, their run grades. Like ABT and Joe Tipman have horrible run analytics, but I know that they can be decent run blockers. Um, and maybe some guys have given up sacks on stunts that were miscommunications or blitzes that weren't picked up because the offensive coaching has been a mess. But we're, we're all watching the games, and we're seeing Tyron Smith just get toasted by speed pretty regularly. Uh, so it seems like the age factor is catching up to him. The injury is probably catching up to him. He just doesn't have that lateral quickness he once did. Uh, now he's on a one-year deal. You like the bet, try and squeeze one more year of like all pro level play out of the 33 year old, which isn't insanely old for a left tackle. Uh, definitely glad they avoided a multi year deal, but he's been a C. He's his level of play has been disappointing, uh, in my opinion. Mike Williams gets a B, another very similar structured contract to Tyron Smith, but he's played better than Smith. Very efficient, 145 yards on 14 targets. Really, his grade, like on an opportunity basis would be an A, but I guess his total performance would be a B. Uh, I I would like to see him get more targets than Alan Lazard in this offense. I know that Lazard has familiarity with Rodgers, but Mike is a vet. He's probably going to be in the right spots, and he just doesn't drop passes. Uh, he has, you know, Alan Lazard dropped four balls on Sunday last week, and Mike Williams has dropped four passes. You'd have to go back to his last 31 games. He's dropped four passes in. And Alan Lazar just dropped four passes in one game. So definitely a good get, uh, Mike Williams. I think stylistically he fits Rodgers' skill set a lot. I'm surprised that he has uh, – I'm hoping he gets more balls because it's, he's one of the most efficient things we do on offense. Hand the ball to Braylon Allen, throw the ball to Mike Williams, the two most efficient things we do. I hope we do um, the former more. Okay, Morgan Moses trade. He gets an A. Now, I know he's missed two games, so like the results – if you want to make that a part of it, obviously, if he like you know gets hurt again and, and misses more games, that would impact the grade. But man, you don't know how you don't know what you have until it's gone, right? When he really showed his value, the two games that he missed, and you know Olu is Olu is doing okay for a rookie uh, left tackle playing right tackle. It's not anything against him, but definitely in the run game we missed him. We missed. I think he brings like a nasty to this offensive line that we don't have without him. And you're talking about a, a pick swap and five million bucks for you know, really solid tackle play. I think Morgan Moses is, has been an A. I think he's been really good. Excited to get get him back for the Buffalo game. Javon Kinlaw C. Not horrible, not great. Just been a mediocre signing. Now he's flashed a couple times as a pass rusher. He's good for like two pressures a game. He's probably been their third best defensive lineman now that JJ is hurt and Reddick doesn't uh, exist. But I think you could make the case that you probably could get someone to do what he's doing for a little bit less than the $7.5 million they gave him. And the weight added has not helped his run defense. He's been very bad um, against the run. But he's been okay. Uh, One-year deal, fine. John Simpson is a B for me as well. He's been a little hot and cold, but you're looking at the value. The contract he got was very reasonable. I think he's playing right about at that level. The first three games uh, was playing above that level. And then the last three games, the whole entire offensive line seemed to regress. He he got beat a couple times pretty bad the last two games. But definitely a big upgrade from Lakin Tomlinson in both phases. And he's, you know, the whole idea going into it was, okay, if he's your worst offensive lineman, you're going to be fine. And I think he's been he's been adequate. The, the totality of his five games has been adequate for his money. Hassan Reddick trade, F. What 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 other grade can you give it besides an F? Well, Joe Douglas could could Joe Douglas have completely known that Hassan Reddick was going to have like a mental uh, episode and start hating money? No, but he knows more than we do, and he's got good connections in Philly. And now it's like there's more and more evidence coming out that 
there were more red flags in this trade um, than maybe we knew about at the time. Is what it is. Swung big to try and improve the team, and you miss. Happens like, you know, Denzel Mims, good re- good reasons to be excited about drafting him. The result is an F. It, no other way about it. The result of the Reddick trade has been an F so far. Chuck Clark, another B. I think Clark has been, if anything, he's been as impactful as Whitehead for way less money. You're talking about a vet minimum deal. Week one looked rough, rusty, and old. But since then, he's been a steady tackler, and he's been in the right spot at the right time. You know, he, he lacks the athleticism uh, whenever he's asked to play more of a free free safety role. But vet minimum of money, good deal. Ditto that Isaiah Oliver, another B for me. I, we brought him in to be a decent backup and to be a special teamer. And I actually thought Oliver had some uh, really good reps in coverage when Michael Carter went out against the... Uh, Vikings, they were down Carter and Sauce, and Eccles and Oliver come in, and they both played pretty well. And it looks like Michael Carter might miss the Buffalo game, so it could be an opportunity for Oliver. Uh, You know, he's been a starter in this league a long time, can play multiple positions as a backup and play special teams, you know, make whatever, less than three million bucks. I think that's been a fine signing as well. Uh, Obviously, you got to give some credit to the the defensive coaching staff. Just seems like whoever they put back there in coverage, it doesn't miss a beat. Um, So he's been an okay signing for me as well so morgan moses gets the the a and then some b's and c's mixed in we've only one f in a (laughs) hassan reddick i don't know who knows maybe he shows up but i don't even know if he plays a down of football again it's kind of crazy thanks for hanging out and we'll talk all soon go jets